Hey guys, how's it going? Sleeping Hollow here, and today we're back with another video. The reason I'm making this one, as you can see, it is Cloth Weaver again, is because I feel like I owe it to the creator and to the viewers that anytime there's an update video that fixes some of the issues I've had, you know, the bugs or whatever that I might complain about, you know, I owe it to everyone to make another video because if someone happens to stumble upon my old video and they see like the issues I had with it, and because basically why I'm making this one is because those issues were fixed. And I want to go over it really quickly. And you know, I think it's not fair if they see that video and then decide they don't want the add-on. And then, you know, there's, and those issues are fixed. So, anyways, that's why I'm making this video. Let's just quickly jump into it. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm not going to go through the whole process. Because, like, if you see my other video, you know how to make uh, clothing with this already. It's pretty self-explanatory. So, I basically made this front part already. If we look into it, it's, it's, it's a pretty simple shirt, you know. I just started with the, uh, where is it? I basically, you know, started with the create base plane and then just extrude it out and then extrude to make it long sleeve. Really simple. And then I went ahead and just, you know, added some edges to it just to make sure it's nice and, you know, cut up. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to select them all, go ahead and create the back side. Now we're going to kind of pull this out, make sure it's not touching the skin. All right. And now here comes, you know, the fix that I had that this new version 4.31 has. So now we can go ahead and select both of these edges. And in the past, what you would have to do is you would have to do that. You would have to go ahead and bridge edge loops and you delete the face. Then you'd have to select all these edges one by one and do like the odds first and then the evens. And you have to assign the vertex groups to them. You no longer have to do that now. So now what you have to do is you just select both edges and go ahead and mark parallel edges. And now as you can see, just oh wow. Now as you can see, the odds and evens aren't even here. It's all being taken care of. So now we're going to do the same thing with the top, except we're not going to want to select these because we don't want this to be closed and yeah. So anyway, so there we go. Those are selected, same thing, mark parallel edges. And now if we go ahead and just put on clothes. All right, now let's go ahead and pick a nice spot. Let's say right there. Let's sew the clothing. And there we go. Boom. Done. So like I said before, you'd have to select those edges and do the odds first and then the evens. And you can tell that would be very time consuming, especially as um, more complicated your garments, your clothing or whatever you're making. The more complicated it got, the more you'd have to do that, and it just was just such work. And now, as you can see, it's that whole step is completely cut out of the process. It makes the whole process a whole lot easier. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Really short video. Just wanted to let you guys know about this update in case you're on the fence about getting this add-on. Maybe this will help you either get it or not, you know, whatever it may be. So anyways, thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.